finest. I don't know. But yeah. What I do know is Kyle's a fucking horrible human being. I think he's pretty dope. He just don't have no filter either. He's a great person though. He's just a horrible fucking human being. I don't even know what to say in this argument. I'm kind of torn on myself. I get on my own nerves, man. <laughs> it's, it's very entertaining. Um, I like it. Time to time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We back another week, another episode of BYOB. We back in this bitch. It's your boy, Regular Ja. I am your host and my co-hosts. We got Kyle and we got the lovely Pamela Le Poussois. Ew. That is the worst name ever. He just said, I'm just Kyle. I ain't no kind of introduction. Like, fuck him. Cool, cool Kyle. He's cool. Cool Kyle. <laughs> cool ass Kyle. Yeah, man. I like that. Pam, you here, man. Fucking back. Pam. Back. I actually got two two people in the, in the fucking in the booth at the same time. This is the crew, man. This is This, this, this is, is a Facebook beef that... <laughs> yeah, to settle. So. Yeah, this shit been going on between y'all for a couple months now. We agree on a lot of shit. We do. We don't agree on some shit. Facts. But we here. We here. And we got a lot of shit to cover this week. We Usually here. we we start with music. I mean, I guess it's kind of music, but so uh, I'm gonna ask you, Pam, because you like skin. And what are you? The chocolate, nigga. Ooh, Fuck. Here we go. Well, y'all need to right. start with the bullshit. Actually, yeah. I, didn't, <laughs> right. I wouldn't even say I was chocolate. I would say I'm more of a like a mahogany. Mm. <laughs> I'm like a. I don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> this man just <laughs> described himself as chocolate and mahogany. Yeah, mahogany. No, sir. Yeah, man. I'm like Billy D. Williams, man. Like, I'm. You know what I mean? Like a mahogany. You look like that wall. That's it. Clearly, y'all can see this. What your walls look like? Camera. They pretty goddamn good. What your walls look like? <laughs> 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 but yeah, so um, what's going on with y'all light skinned people? Y'all like is light skinned people is a is a whole taking an L for this Jesse Smiley shit. Like, are y'all all taking that L with him? I'm not taking that L with him. I think he was looking for some ass. Y'all was ride or die. I wasn't ride or die. I was iffy about it at <laughs> nah, the beginning. I'm not gonna. I was iffy about it from the beginning. I think he was out looking for it. Don't put that shit on light skin people. Y'all gonna hate me. It's not. Yeah. I'm not it's not a light skin thing. <laughs> I think he was looking for some. I know who Cal want to put it on. But the we... LGBTQRS, <laughs> whatever the fuck. It's y'all fault. Y'all the gotta alpha, wear this L. The alphabet. Y'all don't never the have alphabet. to take L's. Y'all got. Y'all want to be just like everybody else. You gotta wear this L. Yeah. This is on on the gay people of the world. So what do you think he was out there doing? <laughs> looking for some man meat that's what I think not even being no, funny I think that's what he that's was that's what they said the story no the story came out today they said that he hired like two actors from Empire previously to stage the attack or some shit like that. shit wow but if that's all they did he don't even look bad even when he like came on stage and did his interview but I'm trying to like find out like so where the fuck did the MAGA like I know them two black ass niggas was not wearing no fucking MAGA ass and where's the news <laughs> They put around his neck. No, it was, they, 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 they had they, the noose. They said they bought some noose. The noose was on them when they got there, but. And the bleach, like, you pour bleach on somebody and they don't, like, there's nothing in their eyes. You no, just. nothing. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You pour but bleach on But why are they pouring face, bleach would, on them? The nigga already light skinned. Like, he ain't. They were trying no, to cleanse him. He, he ain't getting no lighter. They were, they were trying to cleanse him with the bleach out there. They was trying to. Pu- that's bleach from Lake Minnetonka. Facts. They was trying to purify this nigga. They was trying to purify this nigga. But nah, so, like. I think I that's that probably pissed everybody off more. Like, I know them black ass niggas was not wearing no fucking MAGA hats. I don't no. think they beat him up honestly. If they beat him up the way they look, if that's all the hands they had in them, they white didn't do people too call much. it white people call it a hate crime because he blamed two white men. <laughs> they they, they try to say they this is a hate crime against white people. Yeah, I mean, he just need to come out with it. I don't know what his purpose was behind it, but it doesn't make any well, sense. Well, he already out. Are oh, you talking about the truth? Oh, the truth. Like, what was the purpose? Because it didn't work, it obviously backfired. He's still going to get fired from the fire. They said he was getting fired from it in the beginning. But he's still going to get fired. Yeah, it's a wrap for him. Like, his his career is over, pretty much. I'm pretty sure after this. Because you had everybody all over the world, like, angry for him. That was another thing, man. Everybody, like, jumped on black men because we won't quick to come to his defense and shit. Like, nah, nigga, that story was shaky as fuck. Duh. But then, anytime there's some shit involved in us, it's, it's wait for the facts. Yeah. 
They tell us wait for the facts when this shit going on. But I mean, like I said, I was iffy about it from the beginning, so I didn't have an opinion. I just thought it was he wasn't out there just walking around. It's Chicago and it's freezing. What are you doing out there? What was it like? Three in the morning or some shit, right? Yeah, it was like in freezing. Chicago. Like yeah, literally, it was like negative six degrees or some shit outside. Like, you wouldn't be walking around. Like subway. subway. Number well, one, subway's not even open. Hold on, number one, niggas is not walking around Chicago in spring. At three in the morning by yourself. Nigga, Subway is not good enough to make me leave my no. house at three o'clock in the fucking morning. Wawa, maybe. But not. Yeah, not Subway. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> Wawa definitely might. Wawa's clutch, but not Subway. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. West 24 hours. I'm not going to Subway. Like, that's not even a place that, like, a nigga would have a taste for. At all. Like, it's like, yo, shit, nothing else is by here. Fuck, it's a Subway right that's there. That's when you stop at Subway. You <laughs> got five minutes, like, to eat something and, that's and it. shit around. It's like, all right, it's a subway right there. Let me goddamn go ahead and grab this motherfucking tuna sub and these goddamn raspberry cheesecake cookies that taste just like the tuna sub. Ew. He's going to get fired from M5 for that shit. They said he was already getting fired. They're going to fire him for that shit. Yeah. So, he out of control. So, what? New music. Um, You said who? Ooh. Pam has some, some stuff. Ball crazy. Why you say it like a little schoolgirl? I school love girl. Ball Greasy. Hey, I I, the fact that his name is Ball Greasy, I don't like saying he's that shit. He's from Florida. I don't give a fuck where he's from. <laughs> nigga he's might be the most gangster nigga like in the him. world, but I don't. That the name is kind of. Yeah. Speak. I guess it's not really music, but y'all hear about Takashi? Oh, that's nation. Yeah. That don't get up. This is Josh's favorite person. Please don't say nah, that. Nah, nigga, not getting no jail don't, time. Don't do that. Snitching. So that's true. Mm-hmm. He's not gonna make it. When don't he get do out. that. He get witness protection. I don't, too. I don't support or condone that, nigga. You don't support the snitching, but anytime ain't he no, had anything, ain't no butt, nigga. You can ride with a motherfucker till he start doing that so shit. When he get out, that's it. Yeah. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. He can't do shit. He, <laughs> can't hide. he ain't he gonna hide. That's a wrap for shit. him. That's it. Nah, they say they putting him in protective custody, but how yeah. the fuck are you not gonna get noticed, my nigga? Like you not just a nigga from. He gonna, the... he gonna get rid of that rainbow hair. You gotta but get then he tat- got the well, six nine. Tat- tat- you gotta get the tattoos and shit removed. Like, he gonna, he, he gonna. That's gonna take years to get all the tattoos off. He gonna pull the Mendoza from Low Down Dirty Shame. <laughs> get, <laughs> he get the whole face fixed and shit. What they got to do to that man? We went from forty seven years to no time. Was he gonna tell him? I don't know. I was kind of conflicted at first, man. Like. I don't condone with snitching at all, but these niggas was about to kill him, and I think. But didn't they rob him? Too? Yeah, they was robbing and stealing they nigga money and shit. Like, money, so yeah, yeah. they yeah. fucked this girl. And then they yeah. were like, like you, fuck, you fuck my baby mom, mom. I'm like, mom. Mom. and weren't wild. they about to come to his well, mom's they, house? I think they no. I think it's worse than that. I think they ran a train on his baby mom. If if I read the story right, it's terrible. See, y'all niggas steal my money, run a train on my baby mom, plot to kill me. How do you let somebody run a train on you though? And I have the choice between uh, doing 47 years or getting no time at all. Yeah, I'm probably, I might tell y'all. <laughs> they took all his money. Like, fuck it. I was snitched too. Now, they ain't take all of it. He still got a couple million. He tried to give, he tried to use the money he had. It was like $3 million or some shit to get out. The judge was like, nah. You know how much it's going to cost to fight a racketeering charge? That $3 million that he got. Plus, he ain't got enough <laughs> to fight that charge, but he had to tell. He had to pawn some of that jewelry he got. Yeah. Um, the young boy in Florida, what's his name? He made the song about the murder he committed. The somebody <laughs> Melly. Yeah, why? Why? Why am I in Melly? Why am I in Melly? I don't. It's a lot of three letter niggas out here. I be yeah. forgetting. Why yeah. Finn Lucci? Why am I in Melly? Shot, he looked like he did. I'm 32. I don't know. Le Pusswa Le Pam. It's a lot of these niggas out oh, here. Y and W Melly. <laughs> Le Pusswa P A M. It's a lot of. It's oh, a lot of three letter. It's a lot of. It's a lot of three letter motherfuckers out here. Pam think it's called grits in case y'all ain't know. Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm gonna wait to till she stand up before I cut the camera off. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so did he really kill his two friends? That's did, what they said. Then the nigga rapped about it. He made a song about it. Said one of the niggas died in his arms. Hey man, y'all niggas better go back to the nineties when niggas was embellishing about the shit they did. You can't tell on yourself on these records. Yeah, these niggas is really he like. He looked like he did in his mugshot, but then it's like he seemed real remorseful, and then he turned himself in. Honestly. Yeah, these niggas is really killers and really killers. rapping about killing they victims. I mean, you can't hide. That's true. Y'all niggas should have learned from Bobby Schmurter. He getting you. out soon, right? Uh, I mean, the, what's your definition? Of soon? He soon. still got a couple years left. Yeah, that's soon though. I mean, I mean, it, it's soon. He got a date. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, is he got a date? 
Yeah, because that uncertainty, all them Treyway niggas, they don't have no nothing. No nothing. I think they trial start in 2020. Sheesh. Nigga, it's February 19. Like, they- I'm also looking at this shit like, I, that's even shit that one of the niggas he's supposed to snitch on might get 10 years for the, the hit that they had put out. On oh, on TV. Like, like, if you my mans, I can tell you, like, hey, dog, I'm going to get 47 years, or you can do this 10. Nigga, I need you to do this 10 for me if you really my man. That's real. Like, I can't do 47, but you could do 10. Yeah, like, I mean, but I think everybody knew he was going to. He was going to yeah, do, we all do what, he, he, what he's doing. But the crazy thing is, if that's like what's really happening, niggas don't care. All yeah. they know, Takashi snitch. Yeah. Yeah, that's a rap. Even if niggas like really took the rap for homie. Yeah. And then he like, yo, your homie is actually taking a the rap. They saying you innocent. And he like, yeah, I mean, well, yeah. If that's what's happening, yeah. Mm. They still going to be like, yeah, that nigga snitch. Yeah. Like what I'm supposed to say, nah. They <laughs> lying. I was there. <laughs> I did all this shit. They lying. I was with him. Lil Boosie said that uh, so now when he rap on tracks, he got to tell everybody that he a, a hoe ass nigga. <laughs> Boosie, <laughs> yo. Yeah, yeah Boosie, been, he been on one lately anyway with everybody. It's the OG, man. You gotta love Boosie. Yeah, I fuck with Boosie, yo. I fuck with, I fuck with Internet Boosie. I don't really fuck with Boosie's music. Yeah, I, I, I fuck I with Internet Boosie. Boosie. I, I fuck with songs Boosie. in there I fuck with, but Boosie is a person I, I fuck with. You can bet. I just like Boosie because he got a secret sex for in his house. That took a turn I won't expect it. I'm just saying I like him because of that. It I'm, did kind of lead in the right place. Yeah, I mean. But I'm <laughs> saying he does have one. That's dope. Goals. It is. We gonna, we gonna come back to that when, when, we, get, when, <laughs> we, get, when we get to them topics. Life goals. <laughs> uh, what else I see? Oh, Meek Mill confirmed him and J. Cole got a song coming soon. I think yeah. I'm here for that. That's gonna be nice. I'm definitely here for that. I think Cole gonna watch him though. Depends on what the song is about. Meek can rap, yo. No, no, no. I, I'm not, I'm not debating that at all. I, f- I really fuck with Meek, but who is Cole not washed on features in the last year? Yeah, this is true. Yeah. <laughs> Cole doing what he's supposed to do. Y'all see Cole almost dunked the uh, NBA dunk contest yesterday. Uh, the nigga, yeah, I was, I was gonna wait to bring that up, but since we talking about oh, Cole, shit, my no, no, no. Since we talking about him, like the nigga, no hoodie. I mean, he had a hoodie on. He ain't stretch. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, like, he probably had on some boots. Like he possibly could have made that on a good day. Yeah, like or on a, just a regular day. Yeah. Like the nigga was just sitting there. He just got up out of chair and just ran with the ball and went to go dunk the shit. I mean, he dunked the ball, just didn't go in. Shout out to All Star Weekend. We had for sponsors too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Isn't All Star Weekend for like older people and then CIAA for the younger people or something? No, All Star Weekend, Weekend is for is... people who get money. Yeah, which is why Kyle was out there. Let me Big tell you, I went, I went down to All Star Weekend. <laughs> yeah, I was the way he, the way he said it was, yeah, I was not included. I, I really felt like I was. Out I really of place. felt like he just called me a broke ass. No, nigga. I was out of place. <laughs> I, I should have stayed my black ass here. I'm, I'm just not willing to spend 150 dollars to get into oh, yeah, a that's... place just to stand around with people. Yo, number one, I seen this nigga Kyle on IG story. Throwing hundred dollar bills oh. in the fucking strip club. He's lying. Ooh, I felt money. victim. I felt victim to the day party curse yesterday. <laughs> you know what happens when you go to the day party? You get real fucked up early, and you go oh, home yeah. expecting to like change and shit, and you pass out, and you wake up it's three o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to me yesterday. But yeah. luckily it's All Star Weekend, so three in the morning, motherfuckers are still out and about. Still hit the strip club. Yeah, I actually <laughs> wake up till four. Onyx was closed. I definitely had intentions on going, but. Yeah, but the parking is crazy though. You paying? So that's not money. Park. That's not money. A nigga, is, a nigga's going money. to Onyx on All Star Weekend to compete with at three, four in the other morning. athletes definitely. and actors and movie money. stars that's and and money. rappers. First of all, shit. I said I was considering going. <laughs> Onyx cover charge started at twenty dollars. I was gonna get there before ten o'clock. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna stay in there all night. I was gonna throw a hundred dollars in ones, and that was about it. He's gonna throw that on one girl. Yeah, just wait for the right time. Yeah, you, you gotta, 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 gotta right find time. the right one. And just real quick, you can't wait too long though, because then everybody gonna look at you like, "Nigga, you standing around, you're not throwing no money." And then when you throw it, it's gonna look like it stays, like yeah. you, like you was waiting for that moment and shit. So. Not that I know, you know. what I'm saying I be at Bible. Fortunately, I ain't even making man, so I saved myself some money. Only because you you passed out. I'm good. I'm okay with that. My bank account was happy with that when I woke up. No, and I was considering coming down there when you went, but I was like, yeah, I don't know if that's the brightest idea. You Luckily, I had. 
<laughs> Luckily, I had a lot. Yeah, we probably wouldn't have had no podcast this week. Maybe wouldn't have been back. <laughs> I was struggling. But you know how I know niggas is getting old. So we went to uh, Duce Palooza two years ago. I'm not going to call it the previous name. We went to Duce Palooza t- two years ago, right? Yeah, respect to the Duce Palooza crew, man. Yeah. I've been like, hey, y'all shits, I fuck with y'all. And um, so we went we went to Bliss. Yeah, we did go to Bliss afterwards. So not even <coughs> on no not even on no gangster shit. Like niggas niggas bum rushed and bogarted somebody's section. Cause we was old and niggas feet niggas, yeah. niggas feet was hurt. Bitch was tired. We was just, feet hurt when y'all go out? Nigga, we, we was, was at, at a day party. Number one, we was before. at the Duce Palooza for like five hours. I was drunk. Wow. Drunk as a motherfucker. Drunk as a bitch trying to go in Bliss. That shit was bad. No, nah, yeah, because it was, who was it, Fab, Jeezy, and I don't know. whoever the fuck, the third person that was supposed to be coming. Yeah, niggas left before all them niggas came. Like, it was like two in the morning, them niggas still weren't there yet. We was like, yeah, Sheesh. we out of here. Every time I go to Deuce Palooza, I drink at least, like, I drink like a fifth of Hennessy while I'm in there. Yeah, but to the face. To the face. That shit is bad. Can't do it. I'm a lightweight. I wouldn't make it. I ain't shit light up my That <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> 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 monkey. You're terrible. Anyway, um, <laughs> not talking here. <laughs> <laughs> said I'm a horrible human being. Facts. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, oh no, I got one more thing in the music news. So did y'all see the shit that Kanye did for Kim K? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The they Valentine had Kenny shit. G trapped in like a room. That shit fire. With all the rules and shit. Yeah, but he, he couldn't move. All the way out for her. No, but the, the I felt kind of bad for Kenny Couldn't G though. Couldn't he go out through the other door? Cause I feel like nah, he was surrounded. It was like the nigga couldn't go nowhere. Like he had roses literally on every direction. Nigga, of stand there and play. I beat. thought that where he was playing at, it wasn't no roses, so he could probably go out that door. Nah, I really wanted to like find a way to get to Kenny G and tell that nigga to blink twice. <laughs> if, if he was Kenny G. If he was being hit, uh, Kenny G, where weighs ninety eight pounds, man, he's. He's not going to do too much. Kanye paid that man. He had he to pay, pay him. him. Dude, Kenny G is no. bigger than Kanye. Number one, that's a fact. He's Kenny G is a legend. 75, yeah. se- no, 78 million records sold. Nah, that's... He's and, a legend. And so he like, ain't say one word on that one album. Kanye paid some big money to get Kenny G to the crib. He probably, yeah. he probably used Kim account. It don't matter. Yeah, because Kim money longer than Kanye's. We all is know it? that, though. Is it? Yeah. I th- Kim I made $100 million from a fucking mobile app game. Yeah, oh, yeah, Kim so, yeah, <laughs> Just that Just that alone. What y'all say then her the little manager. sister, yeah, she's talking about Bill yeah, Mom. But yeah, yeah she's so, a great man. <laughs> regardless of what though, he might have paid Kenny G, but he definitely ain't no Mike. He definitely yeah. no. I'm saying he like the money was there, but I still felt like my nigga Kenny was being held against his will. Yeah. Kenny came for the money. You see that beautiful hair? You think Kenny ain't had no box? Long but the thing is, like, Valentine's Day, Kenny, fucked up. Kenny, Kenny G does all this for the lovers, but who does? What does the lovers do for Kenny G? Can't even sing to his bitches himself. They trap this nigga in a room. Full of roses. Full of roses with glass with glass cases with the roses standing up so he can't I go how nowhere. Long it, they had to probably start at one end. Kenny had to stand there while they set the shit up. <laughs> yeah, don't move. Don't move, nigga. And then go set all these roses up. Don't go nowhere. You stand right here. Dang, what if he had to pee? What if he had to do anything? The nigga had to stand in that one spot playing the saxophone. That shit sound like... Do your fucking job, B. He probably only did one song. Nah. Shit, how long can you stand there? I mean, he ain't in concert. That nigga Kenny G still there right now. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? Kanye probably is making some music with that nigga. Kanye is a genius on some shit like that. Nah, he's a genius. He a clown with your genius. I was listening to some yay music earlier, man. Yay is fire. I don't care what y'all talking about. Yeah, no, no, I think I'm I'm like the only nigga in America that that liked the Yay album. I liked it. It was a good album. That's what I'm saying. Like it wasn't great like the rest of his work. It was a good yeah, album. Yeah, nah. I mean, Jesus was trash. Um, Jesus was trash. Jesus I liked me. Life of Pablo. I liked that was my was dope. shit. That was my shit. A lot of people look look at this nigga. She hates this. I don't know why she hate Kanye so like much. Kanye. Like but then again, you yeah, when you bump Britney, when you yeah. pulled up, you was bumping Britney Spears, so it, it makes sense though. Britney has some hits. Don't do that. Yeah, I seen you singing sometimes when you pulled up. It's cool. Why do you even know that song? I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm a musician. Exactly. exactly. Britney has some hits. Number one. Hold on, hold on. Number one. I got five sisters. So let's that's not, the only reason why let's you not know do it? this. And I'm a, I'm a student of music, man. Don't don't play with me. So you can't take from Britney. That she don't play hit. with me. It's Britney Spears. Britney could get hit. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I ain't seen her lately. I ain't seen her lately. She's not thick anymore. <laughs> Brittany was never thick. She was thick at one time. I wouldn't go that far. I'm yes, not going to say she was thick. Thick white girls was Jennifer. Kelly Clarkson was thick. I, I don't remember Brittany. No, Kelly Clarkson thick. never had an in-between. The white girl from uh from the American Parkers. Idol. Yeah, she, oh, yeah, she was Idol. thick. She was definitely thick. There's some, but Christina Aguilera was thick at one time. Mm. Yeah, she was. I wouldn't define that as thick. It was. She had a she had an in between stage. I wouldn't define that as thick. She was kind of shaped like Snooky, when Snooky had that weight on her. Oh, she wasn't shaped like that. Don't do that to Christina. Snooky, I right now though. She lost it. Um, because you like sticks. Wait, before we jump off of music, um, Twenty One Savage. Oh, homie's home. Twenty One, Twenty One. Homie's yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Twenty One Savage really have is an free. Accent is what it's, I want to know. Probably not. He's been, no, he's been here since he was like seven. seven. What does that mean? Yeah, damn some accent. people, some people have accents. Yeah. Like you can't. Don't. I, I wonder if he is like acting. If he really has an accent. Glad you home, man. Niggas don't deserve to be locked up for bullshit. No. Uh, which nah, leads me to not the, at all. Leads me to the bigger picture. I saw, you know, Jay help help get that man out. Yeah, I was talking to my pops about that. And yo, he he put money Jay, up for Meek's legal team Jay to get is him the out goal, too. Man. He is amazing. He put money up for Meek's legal team and did some more research. He paid he Wayne's pay, taxes. Pay taxes. I've seen all that. Yeah, man, Adrian Broner is turning in his grave right now. It's, Jay Z is the dope. Look, man. Pam, you better. He beat that boy. Stop debating the greatest rapper ever. Is that he beat that boy. And y'all better acknowledge that. Y'all seen it. The world seen it. That yeah, he beat who? <laughs> he beat that boy. What boy? Hmm. He controlled the fight. Adrian Broner talk good, man. He controlled he the fight. He don't even talk good. He's annoying. He's, he he beat that boy. He should make skits on Instagram. That's what he needs to he do. Does he does do needs that. To, that's all he needs to do. Nah, he needs a stop box. Leave that shit to Plies, B. I love Plies. Everybody think Plies is Uber driver. That nigga is always <laughs> in the fucking He's car. He's definitely always in his car. Oh, All right. Um, sports news. All-Star Weekend this weekend. Shout out All-Star Weekend, man. I got him Paul George jersey just because it's All-Star Weekend. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to wear anybody from that squad, I mean, why not wear PG-13? I mean, realistically, I'm not even an Oklahoma fan. I'm a Philly fan. He's really shout a Pacers fan. That's why he got the Paul George jersey. Pacers, he's just man. he's just sad that, you know. Well, shit go down to Indiana has been drug dealing and murders. I know. Hey, chill, man. <laughs> Y'all think Indiana's sweet. That shit is not sweet. No, nah, that's what my family I was watching from, the Miles like. at the Palace the other day, man. That shit is still hilarious. Yeah, my family from there. Shout out West Side Nap. But, um... Yeah, that shit is that shit is literally what you just described. Drug dealing and murders. I know. That doesn't sound good. Shout out to my sisters though. We're gonna win the East. No. What? No. I right, started with four is almost as good as no, It's over today, right? Shit. That's our weekend. The game is tonight. The game yeah. is tonight. So it's been going on all week. Yes. Yeah, like But during the week it's like three the- point contest, dunk contest was last night. Um like a staff loss. Yeah. By, by a shot. I think Steph let him win that shit though. Yeah, I think he was just. Um, I think Friday night was like a USA versus. They did some random game shit that they do. Yeah. And then the. Um, hey, that dunk contest was ill. Yeah, that was whole, crazy. Let me take that back. The whole dunk contest wasn't ill. Um, mm-hmm. The nigga, I forgot his name, Diallo. Yeah, jumping over Shaq. He jumped over Shaq, B. That was fire. Shaq was tall. Shaq is seven one in the room on some Vince Carter shit. Like. Shaq is seven one. Yeah, he he deserved that win. Like <laughs> he used that dunk early, but that yeah, that was definitely dunking the night. Yeah, I mean the shit over J Cole was that was crazy too. Yeah, it was, it was, it was. So because he had so much hang time on that shit. Um, I ain't see the um, I I didn't catch the celebrity game. I don't they, know who they had played. That shit. Oh, they might. I don't. I thought they, they have it every year. Have a celebrity game? I was too busy getting drunk. <laughs> yeah, I, this nigga was out there thotting. I wasn't thotting. <laughs> that dude was just chilling in Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want that. Hey, shout out to Nana's, though, man. I had some soul food before I left Charlotte today, man. It's a spot called Nana's in Charlotte, man. That shit hit. Like, Did anybody go to the diner? Did you go to the diner? Oh, what's the diner? The diner? What yeah, the fuck is that? diner out there. But you don't eat it unless you're, like, from out of town, from what I hear. But the food's good. Nah, if the locals don't want the shit... It's good though. It's really good. So why the fuck you only eat it if you from out of town? I that guess because you get tired of eating it so much when you live in the city. You know. Nah, my nigga, because I still might slide to Waffle House once a week. I mean, Waffle, Waffle House doesn't right. count. Yeah, it do. Everywhere don't got no Waffle House. I thought Waffle House was everywhere. 
You shitting me. Waffle House is everywhere. They don't have Waffle House. I don't, yo, it's not a Waffle House north of Virginia, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Waffle House. Mm, you might be right. It yeah. damn sure ain't no Waffle House. Matter of fact, I don't think it's Waffle House is north of here. I don't believe you. We'll uh-huh. figure it out later. It's not really important. No, nah, it's not. Um, while we on sports, Kaepernick got that money. He did. Uh, that, he got that money. That settlement is probably crazy. Like they it, said it's between 60 and 60 80 million. 80. It's a good payment, man. He won, man. That nigga did what the fuck he wanted to do. When yeah, he felt so. Like he was right. He stuck that shit out and that shit worked in the end. And that shit is fire. That means I can stop boycotting. So is the boycott over now? For he me. won the money? For me, it is. I was never boycotting. Fuck y'all. My, <laughs> e- my Eagles won the championship during a year of y'all boycott. So the fuck the boycott. Yeah, I mean, I nah, I'm, mine is over with. I'm done. I'm, is he done, though? It don't matter. This nigga's good. He might be able to get a job since it's a yeah he a non disclosure agreement yeah you know so he can't talk about that know. shit so they might be able to get him a job too somebody knows how much he got I want to know he's not gonna do too much they say job. Robert Kraft want him I mean it's not a bad move he healthy he healthy yeah they say he in the gym every day when they pay you money like that you don't talk to that shit about nobody that's real I wouldn't even tell my mama how much they gave me remember when Tracy Morgan got hit by that Walmart truck oh yeah they still don't know how much money Tracy Morgan got. We just it, go to Tracy Morgan. He owned yeah. a few Walmarts. That nigga told like three jokes after he got hit by the Walmart <laughs> truck, and that was the last you seen of that nigga. He was like, "Fuck this shit, I'm done, B." Oh man, um, Steve Harvey, Monique. Fuck Steve Harvey, man. <laughs> Bye. Like so that's that's the new thing, niggas compromising your integrity to uh, fuck Steve Harvey, <laughs> to get Steve in. Harvey is, Steve Harvey wants you to do whatever you can to fit the fuck in. That's what I've noticed. Yeah, I think he. Uh, I think that was his own guilt, his own like, what's that shit called? Not guilt. Um, his conscience fucking with him. Yeah. I think that's what it was. And I feel like if that's how you got all the jobs and shit that you got, you know what I'm saying, by compromising yourself to fit in, then I can't. I used to, I respect, I used to respect this hustle, but if that's how yeah. you got there, I don't know if I can necessarily respect that shit. And then don't <coughs> like yo, don't use your family as a cop out. If you go, now I'm saying, if you doing it, you doing it because you doing it. Don't use your family as a cop out. I think that's some weak shit. Him trying to make her apologize. Somebody put him up to that part though. I think that's. I don't think so. Man, I don't know. Who trying to Maybe make they apologize? Told Monique. Monique. He tried to make Monique apologize. For what? What happened? I missed that shit. Oh, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. When he, she went on his show, and um, he was pretty much telling her like, "Yo, you you got blackballed because sometimes you gotta compromise." You gotta compromise your intel- your integrity to get ahead. This is a money game. He said that they her- owe her an apology, but she also owes him one. He wanted her to apologize, like publicly apologize. You, for- you don't have to compromise your integrity. No, according to him, you do, because it's a money game. So you gotta do what you gotta do to get the money, even if it means. I mean, I guess sacrifice. No, he. Because I believe sometimes you get, I do believe sometimes you have to bite your tongue. I'm sorry, he didn't say compromising. Right? Yeah. He I didn't say believe- compromising. He said sacrifice your integrity. I'm not sacrificing. That's what integrity. he said. Not compromising. He and said his sacrifice your integrity. Off the air now, so. You said what? He's getting replaced with Kelly Clarkson. So. What the Steve Harvey show? Yes. How the fuck? I'm not. Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> but. Well, they're taking a show off for Kelly Clarkson for her spot. You can look it up. His show's gonna be there. He's not gonna be hurt, and he's still gonna have money. Nah, this nigga yeah, got a game. Show. He got yeah, he do shit. A game yeah. show, radio yeah. shit. That show's done. That's a wrap for that. He got a TV show too, don't he? Yeah. Another station gonna pick him up. That shit gets a lot of views. It does, but who knows? I think there's. I guess it could be kind of a thin line sometimes between biting your tongue and compromising your. No, it's not a thin line because biting your tongue is. You know what I'm saying? I want to say some real smart shit to this person, and I just know I can't say this shit because I'd be fucked up saying it. Yeah. Compromising your integrity is you want me to do something that I just completely believe is fucked up, and I'm going to do it anyway just so I can get ahead. If that's what. I don't necessarily blame you either way. It's just how you choose to live your life. If that's how that's you feel it. like you need to get ahead. Sometimes you have to compromise your integrity for the moment for a bigger picture than. I don't know. Ain't no picture bigger than peace of mind. Facts. If you if you can't live with yourself at the end of the day. <laughs> but yeah. So I guess uh I don't know. 
I think it's just because it's Monique. You know what I'm saying? It's like, is, was he referring to that whole Netflix shit? Everything. It was yeah. just part of that. He was telling. He was pretty much insinuating. This is what I got. But I felt like he was insinuating. That's why the Netflix shit happened the way it did because of all the other shit before it. I feel like she could have took that on the chin. Like, <coughs> I, I, I also feel like she could have worked out some sort of deal. With like, look, I'll take that. What they offer half a million. Yeah, like, I'll take that half a million up front, and then we'll work out something to where if it reaches if, if this, this much go, profit, let's, then well, I like, get a certain percentage. It wasn't percentage. half a million. Like, wasn't it like 250000 No, it was, it was yeah, 500 okay. No, it was 500 yeah. They offered um, Wanda Sykes 250000 Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody offered me it's five Monique. Eight. I think it's Monique. I mean, but... What is Monique really legendary for? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, I mean, even not even, not even that. It's what... Arena's like, where is she selling out? At the time, she would like your relevance. Like Dave Chappelle came back, and they paid Dave Chappelle that much because his return was anticipated. They were waiting on Dave Chappelle. He was still doing little local shows and shit. Yeah. So yeah. they knew when that Dave Chappelle special dropped, that shit gonna be a boom the first night. Yeah, and I mean Chris Rock, like his specials always just he gonna get that anyway. Because if Netflix wouldn't have gave it to him, HBO would have. So that was probably a bidding war. So, I think she could have possibly took that one on the chin. I think she looked bad in that situation. Um, yeah. I don't think her taking that amount of money to prove them wrong. But all right, I'm going to do this special. And the next one, y'all need to have to pay me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going double char- I'm gonna, I'm gonna to overcharge you for the next one. I just want you to know that. Yeah, but I mean, shit, if she was, if she was smart, I mean, me personally, I would have just went on tour. But you can't tell anybody how, if she, if that's how she felt, like, fuck it, I'm not compromising myself, and that's yeah, what yeah, I'm going to yeah. stand for, you do that. Yeah. Like, my thoughts is just my thoughts. You yeah, do that. that's it. Like, I can't be mad for you for betting on yourself. Yeah. I mean, all I know is, Kenny G, blink twice if, <laughs> if you need. If you Have need to be rescued, since the Kim and Kanye? I don't think so. I don't so. think he has because I went to his page. That nigga Kenny G is still in that room. Who the hell goes to Kenny G's page? I did. I go. I'm, I'm a creep. Yes, I know, but I didn't think that was, meant you went to Kenny G's page. I did. I just wanted to see. <laughs> don't judge my life. So, um, getting into it, um, first impressions are they important? Not get we, you just nasty. You just can't wait to just talk about some. Kind of <laughs> you just talk about some. You yeah. just can't wait to talk they about some nasty they want shit. To dick print on the first impression. <laughs> <laughs> Pam yeah. wants you to just pull it out. Pull out Pam. Pull. <laughs> that, that's exactly pull. the opposite of what she is. <laughs> pull it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> Pamela Poussoir. You we, said, do they matter? First impression. So yeah. So all right. Person? First impressions, like, what do you feel like is more, like, first impressions or giving somebody, like, say something go wrong the first time, like, sometimes you got to let people grow on you, or it's like, the first impression, like, nah, nigga, that's it. Now that I'm in my 30s, it's definitely a wrap for you. Like, yeah, that's a wrap for me. I guess it depends on what, what it is that go wrong. Yeah. Like, if you're out on a date and somebody's, like, extremely rude. Probably I ain't worried about nobody being rude. I think my, my worst fear is the cheaters van pulling up on me. So you be cheating? No. Not, I'm Black pulling up on my man. date. Uh-oh. Black men don't cheat. Pulling oh, up on my date. Oh, bullshit. Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. So don't the cheaters me. van pulling up on your date. Yeah, I think that's my. Because I'm going to be on that camera. They're going to have to blurt my face out. You're not going to look. Don't ask me shit on me. <laughs> Talk to her. <laughs> that's it. Does that matter to you? I might just turn into Goldie. You know what Goldie? You know who Goldie is, First right? First impressions do matter. No, nah, they definitely matter. You know what gets me? People say that physical attraction, like looks, don't matter. Motherfucker. Yes, they do, and I hate that. That's the dumbest shit ever. Dumb shit. Looks You're matter. not looking at somebody like, oh my god, they got the, I got the, bet they got a, like a great person. Yeah. Like, no, the fuck. God they damn don't. that motherfucker! Lazy you, ass, yeah. sexy as hell. Like, nah, nobody does that. No, you don't. I know she if they, they're not physically man. appealing to yeah. you, you're not gonna want to talk to them. Period. She is ugly as shit, but I know she's not to take care of a man. Like, I just, no. <laughs> that ain't what niggas say. 
They say they probably say she ugly as shit, but I know that shit's some goddamn Fair. fire. <laughs> but her ass fat though. No, that shit's some fire. But they're not as attractive. They fuck you with a purpose. Like they got something to prove. So a little different. Mm. I'm just saying. That's just my opinion. That's like that's all. That's all ratchet joint. Ratchet chicks. They ratchet chicks fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Never had one, but I'm gonna take your word for it. They do. Shout out to Portsmouth. Oh God. Oh yeah, you were here. We shit. did the yeah, we did the box rundown. Yeah. We 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 came to the conclusion that Portsmouth has the best box in the seven five seven. Portsmouth. Like per capita. Like they're the best box per capita. I had some dick from Portsmouth before. It was okay. We I don't know. I'm talking about. Oh yeah, y'all can't. Vagina. You can't relate. Obviously, obviously not. Yeah. <laughs> How the so, fuck I'm gonna relate to that? Take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck I'm gonna relate to that. You have to get, got crazy women though. You gotta uh, go on Facebook and see what you might what get. Seven five seven cities got the best dick for women. Do a poll of that and see what they say. Probably across the water. I would say. There's some joints across the water, but they ain't fucking with the the. Of course, you might get shot or stabbed. That's life, man. You want it that bad? Hey man, good pussy involves risk. Wow. Live by the pussy, you die by the pussy. Wow. That's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. Yeah. Hey, I mean, you yeah, know. like niggas ain't never taking no risk to come see you. Yeah, nigga, you know where you live at. Yeah, but. I, I ain't going to say, but you know really, where you. It's not really a risk. Like, you live in a neighborhood where niggas might be standing in front of your building. Oh, yeah, they always stand outside. <laughs> it's like. And Pam is definitely the one that's like, don't worry about them niggas. Just come on up. Facts. Yeah. And, but she Facts. let the niggas hear them say that. Like, don't, you, worried about, you worried about these niggas down here? These niggas ain't going to do nothing to you. Come on. They won't. See, and that's how niggas get fucked up. Because of y'all. That's how niggas' cars get broken into. There's cameras <laughs> in my apartment complex. <coughs> so what would you do? All right. So what would you do if you if you did that? You told them, these niggas ain't going to do nothing to you, and they just start beating the dog shit out of this nigga right in front of you. I don't know him. Pam going to shut the door. Yeah, I ain't going to I don't know nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. What happened? So apparently all three of us ain't shit. <laughs> Definitely ain't shit. I don't know you. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I'm I'm that yeah, if if some yeah, I'm <laughs> first I don't know. impressions, man. First dates, yeah, first nah. impressions, which is they gotta go with them. They, f- they have to, because that's a turn off. Like it's a what will make you wanna talk to somebody again, like if that first impression is horrible or you wanna Hang out with them again. I wouldn't want to. Like, I wouldn't. I can see that. I mean, nah, it's just true. If, I think it depends on what what got fucked up on the first date, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like, what they did. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it was just some just outlandish-ass shit, then... My thing is, just if, if that shit is boring, I can't fuck with it. I hate boring-ass people. You get a good first date, you end up fucking on the first night. Yeah. I've never done that. You never Still. fucked on the first date? Not yet. What? Because I think too much about it. I think too much. Like, I don't know you that well, and your last wasn't that good for me to be like, yeah, let me give you some of this box. And then I like really, really nasty sex. I'm not going to give you that when I first met you. I don't know shit about you to give you that. See, that's why you have a conversation before you take a woman out. That's why the first date should be walk around the park. <laughs> I'm not even like... <laughs> Back in back in my heyday, I'm like, we're not even going out on a date unless we've been talking for a couple weeks. I yeah, you gotta converse first and chop it up. Cause. Yeah, nah, that's that's kind of essential now. You and they're gonna ask you for $40 on the first date. Anyway. Nobody asked for $40. <laughs> Yo, we were asking for $40. I did not ask for $40. And I see that all the time. I'm like, who the fuck asked for $40? They're gonna ask Yo, you be for $40. Women asked for $40. Y'all been asked for $40? Have I? Yeah. <laughs> Have I? I do do that. Just because you full the fuck up, Pam. And this ain't even, like, insane. nothing new. It's just been going on for decades. $40 is just the I'm just trying to, I've never asked for. somebody for $40. You know what? Like, I'm different, though. Like, if I ever needed somebody to, like, pay a bill or do some shit for me, like, don't put the money in my hand. Like, I need you. If I want you to put gas in my car, you can take my car and put gas in it. If I need you to pay a bill, I'm going to give you the bill. Nah, they're going to they gonna send you their pay. cash out, name. Pam, Pam. They gonna send you their cash out. That's, I mean, what I mean, you that's some pimp shit. Pam no. said, "I'm not gonna ask you for the money. You just gonna do the shit." Go for pay me. the bill for me. I don't. You gonna it. go? You gonna go to the fucking Dominion Power building? Yeah. 
Like, they don't even accept payments there, but you gonna find a way. Let your bill pay. Here's the account number. Facts. That's shit. what I do. No shit. Like, what are we? You don't have to give me the money, like, because you know some people think that you use that money for other shit. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pay the pass too. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a kind of motherfucker I make a payment plan on your shit yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pay I might pay the past due you get this six month like if that shit month. like if it's like 270 but it's like 131 past due I'm gonna I'm just drop the 131 oh that's nice I would take that I, ain't, I'm I don't gonna have just, any past due right now, but if I that's what I do, I on need my, you. I do that shit on my own. Fellas, I'm getting treated. Maybe maybe it's because I wouldn't ask for forty dollars because I don't know what that's gonna pay mm. for. Really, niggas gotta stop getting treated away and giving away. Yeah, money. but these chicks is different, so they not asking for forty dollars from one nigga. They asking for like twelve hundred dollars worth of forty dollars. I mean, tell what you, you doing for that forty though? Being cute and they mine. That's it. No, you like a bum. If you are gonna ask for some money, you better ask for some money. Forty dollars ain't doing shit. But yeah, if they, I mean, if they ask 10 niggas for $40 and they get it. Why, do you, why are you talking to 10 niggas at one time? So I'm like, too... I guess I just think different. I don't want no part. I'm good. I don't, I don't know too many females now that's not talking to more than one nigga. For what? Only one? You gonna fuck? Allegedly. You? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Speak for yourself. The rest of these women work. Speak for yourself. I told you, just for that fact that I like nasty ass, raw ass. Sex. So do a lot of them. One person. I'm not about to be fucking a whole bunch. No. Nah. No, nah, I'm good. Speak One for person. yourself. I, I am. I can't speak for everybody else. People I can only be, speak for me. They fucking 100 miles an hour out here. People be fucking. <laughs> Raw. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean. Shit happens. Every way, every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah life, it's man. part of life. It's definitely part of life. Far be it for me to judge you how you live your life. Yeah. Team no condoms. I'm here for it. You yeah. show me your shit, I'll show you mine, bro. We in here. The facts. We definitely go get tested. That's it. Do it. But you Sorry. know a lot. That's that, it. That's, people, I mean, that's it. Like, it's, that's the end all be all. But some people, like, you'd be surprised. Niggas will duck off after you ask them to do that shit. Literally. You don't hear nothing from them. So they might be doing you a favor, nigga. <laughs> like, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me see your shit, bro. Like, we can do this. Who don't like raw yeah. sex? Condom Anybody sex. say they don't like raw sex is a fucking lie. Condom sex is trash. I told you that shit like washing dishes with the gloves on. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> That's the only way I wash dishes, though. I hate washing dishes. You don't like to feel the food with the meat yeah, floating in the water? So you don't wash dishes raw, dog? No, I be. I got to put gloves on. <laughs> Vagina? Definitely. Number one, hold on. So niggas is not rinsing their dishes off before they make the dish water? I'm the only should. one that do that? I don't like food floating in, in the water. In man. theory, you should, but that's not how it always happens. Yeah, that's not. That's how it happened with me. Either that or that shit gonna soak. Yeah, you gotta until soak tomorrow it. morning. I don't like soaking. <laughs> well, we should oh talk about God. sex. I was about to say we should I was talk about, about sex. The yeah. dishes. Oh, I was like, nah. She was talking about a uh, dicking. No, ain't no dicking. Apparently, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know though. So yeah, kind of sex is that shit is trash. Even with the new stuff that they have, like the super ultra thin. I don't give a fuck what it is. It's trash. But like, if you've been fucking a nigga with a condom and he tell you that your pussy's good, he's lying to you because he doesn't even know what your pussy feel like. like yeah, like if she asks, if I'm hitting, he been the, fucking inside of a plastic bag for fifteen minutes. He's like, oh, this shit feels good. No, the fuck it doesn't. Stop know. lying. I don't have some good what shit. What you feel is the condom. inside of that Trojan. Yeah, and the, and the loot that they put in it. He it pretty much just pleasure. Like, he pretty she can much feel it if she flex a muscle it con- through the condom or not. Well, women can't flex a muscle. I'm just saying everybody. It just makes it tighter. That's what I'm saying. A lot of women I mean, can't flex the muscles. I'm saying you can feel it though. Them little jail know, pocket pussies is like. tight. That don't mean that's probably some, probably about the same. Some shit. women can flex the muscle. People out here falling in love off condom sex. How? But you can pull the condom off if you flex the muscle. Please do that. <laughs> it's happened. Well, leave that shit right inside you. Most time, <laughs> niggas is pulling the condom off anyway. <laughs> Turn around and get hit from the back. That shit. Oh, let me see if I can slide this off. <laughs> oh, that shit came off. <laughs> that is terrible. Yeah, that was, you know, that's the old. Yeah, I mean, things happen, you, that you know, like young. high school oh, years. Yeah. yeah, I mean. Yeah, sure. Not now. I would never. Oh, okay. I would never now. Mm-hmm. Number one, because if, if I'm hitting you with a rubber, I'm definitely, I, that mean some shit going on. I don't know you like that. I mean. Yeah. So I'm definitely not going to slide that joint off. 
I feel like if you got to put a condom on, you shouldn't be fucking her anyway. That's it. That's you really that's yeah. You really that's don't my, trust her. That's my philosophy. I don't believe. I don't know you. If I have to fuck you with a condom, I shouldn't be fucking. That's it. I mean, I've had condom sex, but then no. I'm saying like the condom should be like. Yeah, All right, so like, some shit like, so if the condom like, pop, like, if if I have to panic, does that happen? Yeah, you shit me if it like don't happen. That 2011. shit. Yeah, like if condoms, if if, had, like, if the condom pop though. and you start panicking, you probably shouldn't have fucked her. Yeah. Yeah, but then again, for me, it's like if you hear like some shit like that, hey, sound like a nigga may try to like trap you up. Then you like, nah, go ahead and put that on. Niggas is definitely trapping you, fam. Yeah, this, I can believe that. This year was. This, this <laughs> I can believe that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to trap you though. That's. This, this, I'm, this yeah, I happens. won't go trap. I just want to. This wanted, is what happens in my life. I just wanted to talk to her about Jesus once or twice. I don't want to trap her. Just as if you had Lord and Savior in your heart. And dig in my stomach. I mean, that's close <laughs> to your heart. So this Sunday. <laughs> it's close <laughs> to your heart. You gotta respect the Sabbath. Feeling better than some head on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. So, yo, another thing I've been seeing is mainly on social media and shit. They've been talking about this manscaping shit. Is that shit important? Like, do you care? It depends on the man. I, I shave my balls. I've been shaving my balls since, like, 2000. And, let me tell you, I started shaving my balls because I lost a bet to the girl that I was dealing with at the time. I didn't want to do it, but I lost a bet. So I had to shave my balls. This is back in 2008. I did that shit, nigga. I like that shit. I was like, oh, this shit feel cool. Like, I mean, I, I shaved my shit before. It was... Like, it had an extra inch and a half, like you. <laughs> I just like how it looks. I like to look at it. So I think for me, I like it to be shaved. Ain't nothing better than getting some. But you, head. you, don't, you don't want like hairy balls in your mouth. Not yeah, y'all would have known that, I... but I'm saying I wouldn't want that. I mean, you can understand that. Oh yeah, she got to stop it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Or, like you give it like head, and then you try to deep throat, and then you got like hairs tickling your nose. You don't want that. You get a real sloppy dick suck after you shave your dick and balls, man. That shit feel totally different, yo. It just everything drip off. Yeah. So what you you said it depends on the nigga. Yeah, some guys. So some niggas you just want to just be hairy. You just want them yeah, to be. Yeah, some men look like they should just be hairy. <laughs> some men. The hair actually like annoys me, so I'm good on that. I don't know. Especially in the summertime. Me. Summertime, that shit is crazy. What do y'all like? You like bald vaginas? I do. Yeah. I, like I don't want to eat a hairy pussy can... either. Same I thing. I don't yeah. want to be down there, goddamn, off the douce, licking on that little pussy, and yeah. and I gotta. And then the shit get wet, like it's moist. Yeah, exactly. It's like. Mm-mm. No yeah. thanks. Yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely good with bald vaginas. No. I need y'all to start shaving y'all butts too. Who like, don't? I like my ass all eating all yeah, the time. That shit stay shaved. What you talking about? That's pretty. You shave your pussy, pretty. your butt be hairy. Nah, bitch. all that I shit. Can't eat your butt hole. Gotta, so you <laughs> shave you shave your ass or you get it waxed? Um, I don't get it waxed, I just shave it. Like with a, like a razor or you use like a like a like the clippers. That shit's dangerous. No, either one. Just depends. It's never like a whole lot you of You do hair. it by yourself? Yeah. You think I can't get to it? That's a big ass. I know. Yes, I don't I don't think you can get to it alone. I can get to it, trust me. Not with no razor. Well, I have before. So you get to all of it. I remember the first time I cut my balls. So how you put the shaving cream in there? This you, nigga is really on this. Why would you do it like that? If you that? can see this hand motion that he's making. put the shaving cream in. They can't see it. That's not how. You put the shaving cream in. It doesn't do anything for me. And then you just look up. How you? I can. I know how to spread my own cheeks. I'm sure. Especially when the nigga shout out to women who spread their own cheeks. Yeah, you gotta be a, especially that, when you got them bent and you, you are, spread that shit. The real MVPs though are the ones that put their own finger in their butt. Yeah, like if you gonna put your own I've finger never in your actually, butt, like done that. But men have bigger fingers. Maybe you know you like I have skinny fingers, okay. so that ain't gonna do shit for me. I'm a thumb nigga. I just throw the thumb in. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like That's I have skinny it's, fingers, so it's what is better my when you hitting in front of you? Know, you just throw the thumb in, you good. I'm a thumb nigga. Got to spit in the buttholes, too. Yeah, no, nah, that's what you do. You thumb. You or if the pussy wet enough, it just drip to the asshole. Just slide your th- thumb in. And I usually do it when I'm hitting it from the back, and I just stick my thumb in. Yeah. You do it like like you palm in the basketball. Yeah. 
You gotta give it a bowling ball. Movie. Yeah, it's like the bowling ball. But yeah, the bowling ball. I mean, the upside down yeah, bowling ball. That's you put two in the put, two yeah. in the pink, one in the stink. That's how you put your finger in niggas' assholes too. No, don't put your finger in my asshole. Yeah, don't do that. I'm, not I'm completely. That. Na- I'm. We not doing that. Penetrating my asshole is where the where the line draws. Like I've you, heard that a lot. Like I said, I hear that. Pam is really out here raping niggas. I'm like, not raping them. Like, <laughs> ask me to do it. You can suck my balls. You can yeah, get you, like parties, all that kind of shit. Like, but don't. Funny thing is though. Like, men always say they don't like it. They don't want to try this shit. And you're like, all right, cool. But then you test that shit out. Like, if you put your thumb down there, niggas ain't puckering up and trying to move their ass away. They let you do that shit. Why are you <clears> just <throat> testing that shit out? Because I like to do it. No, I that's like to crazy. Make that's crazy. I had some medical issues. I had to have a fucking colonoscopy. That shit, I, that shit is uncomfortable with me. Depends on who did it. It doesn't matter. It was done and I didn't yeah. like that shit. You think it's too hard about it. That was for something else. But we talking about, as far as sex goes, dick be hard as hell. I'm cool. nah, I'm very, good. very hard. I haven't even had my ass licked. That Where might have you been. What's wrong with you? Me neither. That ain't my type of shit, though. I'm not saying <clears throat> I haven't decided whether there's some shit that I'm into yet. <laughs> you will be. It's a good feeling. I can imagine because I didn't have my balls sucked and you know, the gooch licked so well that you'd be like, damn, I wonder if she keep going, how this shit will feel. Like, <laughs> it's just never actually happened. Hey, man, you got to keep it real with life. <laughs> So I'm not necessarily against it, but you're not penetrating my asshole at all. Finger, nothing. Yeah, that's, I mean, you're not using, that's like, right. anything other than your finger, and it's not like you goddamn trying to... But, yeah, no, I'm, I just feel like... I like what I like. There's no masculine way... So you like putting your finger in, in men's hands. I do, I like it, because they did get real, real, real hard, and they come quick. Real yeah, that's crazy. That's a dominant thing for me. Probably. I think, I think I, that's what it is. I, I think, I don't know, I just like making people feel good and know that I didn't. But I'm not mad. Like, you know That's what I mean? not my idea of feeling good, though. You ain't never felt it, so you don't know. I'm uh, never going to yeah. feel it, so I'm never going to know. It could be a thing that you like emasculating men. No, no, no. No, I'm just... <laughs> nah, not that. Like, because if you tell me, like, yeah, yo. You're bitch. <laughs> nah, it ain't even that. It just. You can never talk shit. You got my finger in your ass. But the funny thing is, like, when I, I stopped in my Wednesday questions, but I need to get back into it. But my Wednesday questions, like, my DMs are flooded. I can imagine. They're flooded, and it's a bunch of people in the 757. There's niggas in different yeah, states. You had what? What's your Instagram? How many? You got to give me you Instagram. You got, what, 30,000 followers now? Stop it. I only have 5,000. I don't have a lot. That's 5,000? Well, Hell no. But it's 5,000 something. But there's, like, niggas that they against that shit. They be like, hell no. And then in my DMs, like. But for you? They hit you with like, the New York you? sales pitch. They get, for they're you? They're curious. Yeah. They want to try this shit. Or they ask me how that girl can do it or what she would have to do. Like. So I'm nah, just telling. I don't know. I know this is where they say men's G spots are, but I, that's an orgasm. That <laughs> that's what you think. Flesh. Thank you. I, like I say, <laughs> hey, look, man, I already blessed you once. Oh, okay. Like, it is, but it's like, <laughs> it's a different kind of orgasm. You're on your own after the second sneeze. Just, 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 just let somebody lick your asshole. Just say that. Before you die, you'll let somebody do it. No, like I said, I'm, I'm not... Against that, I'm just saying it has not happened yet. I'm gonna try it out, see how I feel about it. If I like it, then we go with it. Cool. I don't know one nigga. Nah, but it's crazy though because like there's it. there's no, no masculine man. way to to be when she do it. Who you gonna lay on your back with your legs up? Here's you the thing. You're not gonna lay with your legs up. You gonna lay on your stomach and toot it like what the fuck? Like you're there's not no laying on your back. You can lay on your stomach and get some head. You get ahead and you you not even thinking about that's that. not that's not getting head. Look, I've also you can thought get about head the, too. I've also thought about the I mean I probably being as a man to make it you know still straight. You know how you typically like can lay off the edge of the bed <laughs> with your dick and balls hanging off the edge of the yeah, bed? Yeah, I know what you mean. You can still do it like that. She can just get up under there, you know what I'm saying? So that way your, your ass is not up in the air. Your legs ain't you up in the air. You can give a massage. It's like you're not like spread. Yeah. This is getting too much in the detail. You're not doing all that. But like I said, it's it's not gay. But so you out here eating ass, pan? Have I done it before? Yeah. I'm not against it. That's why I said I like nasty ass shit and yeah. some niggas ain't with it. So it ain't for everybody. Yeah. What I do is not for everybody. As a man, what do you do? You meet a woman, she's like, yeah, I'm going to eat your ass. Like, you don't say that. Scream, pop. Why not? <laughs> First of all. That's I the shit I might be like, bitch, who the fuck are you talking to? And I don't even know. I think I might like this shit. Bitch. I don't tell nobody Talk what I like do. Like, that. like, I'm not going to tell you what I do. It's going to be a surprise. You'll just figure it out. And when it happens, it's not, I've never... Not once, man. Pam, you can't surprise nothing. a man with a finger in his ass. Yeah, that's, like, not no, that's, that's not no you're surprise. Not surprising it. You're not surprising him. You, you know what I mean? You do what you got to do, but it's not a surprise. Ain't nobody say, yo, what the fuck you doing? Like, back away. Nah, ain't none of that shit. None of that happened. Said no nigga So ever. if I ever see you with a black eye, I know what happened. 
She started running. Let me tell you, no lie. I kid you not. <clears throat> me and my sister, we went to Applebee's. And I forgot how we got on this topic, but it was two dudes sitting at the bar. They were sitting on this side, and we was talking about ass. And this nigga was like, yo. And I seen, I follow him on Instagram. His girlfriend's bad, all this other shit. And he was like, yo, that's some gay shit. Bitches try to lick your ass and touch your asshole. That shit gay as fuck. I ain't gonna never do it. I kid you not. That Wednesday rolled around, and nigga was like, so, hit me with the eyes. Like, yo, I remember what she was saying about that ass shit when he was in Applebee's. And, like... Hit me with like the question mark, and I'm like, bro, you just sat in front of your nigga instead it's of being gay. <laughs> like, nah, niggas be curious because if you yep. ain't never had nobody make you come like that, I'm not gonna lie to you. My girlfriend in 2004 asked to blow up my asshole. That shit blew my mind. It was fresh out of high school. I don't know what the fuck was supposed to say. I don't know what that does. I don't know. I'm good. This is a wild thing to be asked at 18. Like, I blew in the butt before, but that's because I heard it in the Trick Daddy song. Eat the coochie with the legs up, then the blow all in your butt. Yeah, Bitch, you know, man. Yeah, so it was like, oh, nice. I wonder if I she thought this was the shit. Yeah. You know what I mean, she probably do eat ass. Eat the coochie with the layers on, and you blow all in the butt. Oh. I heard Trick Daddy said, "I was like, I gotta try this shit." You got what to happened? try this. That shit worked. Blow back at you. <laughs> she gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> Roll this tobacco up. <laughs> what they used to call it, a doobie. That's really what Bob Marley like and them call it. What did she do? I mean, I'm, that? I'm blow. I've done it now. I you blow a vagina once you get sensitive. Yeah, you do that shit like gold dirt. <laughs> mm. You remember gold dust when we was kids, the wrestler? Yeah, but yeah. I, don't, I don't want that. How you know? You ain't never had it. It just sounds That weird. same shit. It, oh, so when some shit sound weird to you, it's, it's, it's just wrong. I but I some shit blow. sound weird on this side. Oh, you just because you ain't do it yet. You ain't open it. Yeah, let me. I'll be open to that. I just don't know how I feel. Like, what are you doing? Parents gonna try that shit when she go home. Like, hey. Blow on it. Come blow in his ass. No, I don't want that. Fucking thirst is real. <laughs> thirst is real. Somebody can be like, I'll be right over there. The blow right in it. People don't like talking about the shit that they do. And it's funny. I don't know why sex is such an odd conversation for people, yo. Like, in you America. You that shit on Facebook and Instagram. Like you said, you get wild DMs. I get wild comments and yeah. you do get some wild shit mine just be wild i don't put anything on facebook just because my grandma her sisters and stuff follow me oh for, first of all definitely i definitely have my mom and block from them statuses yeah I need, not, I need to i'm yeah. ignorant yeah. in real life i'm not disrespecting my mama like yeah no nah, it's, it's it's a difference between ignorance and just blatant yeah, disrespect nah. like, so there's some people i got so blocked from, them, from the them comments but like, on, on the gram is, I, I give no fucks on instagram that's me on twitter that's me on Twitter. <laughs> but I don't think, I think that what people do in the bedroom is their business. Like, what you do with somebody else is nobody else's business. Like, if you telling people what's going on, then you giving them the option to have, like, an opinion about what you're doing. Like, why are you telling people? You know yeah. they're going to judge you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you want that smoke. Like, you asking for it. I, ain't I, was, I also feel like if you're doing something, you shouldn't, you shouldn't care if you judge for it. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't give a damn. It's, it's, it's what you do, like <laughs> what, what you do, do is what you do. I don't give a damn at all. I just, mm, but sometimes I tell people, and you think it's gonna turn them off, and then they be like, "A oh, word," and then it's like, "Damn, you it never know, you get intrigued." Like, yeah, niggas some shit you never heard of. Like, I'm gonna tell you, I got. That's I started wild. Like, I got tied up at like the age of like nineteen, twenty, uh-huh. like handcuffed, blindfolded. <laughs> she was on some shit like that, and. That's that shit. At, at 19, yeah. being a nigga from the hood, you're not trying to get tied up and blindfolded. Like, bitch, what the fuck wrong with you? Yeah. When you get older, you, that shit is it's fun. It's exciting. It's different. I don't know. When I was that age, I didn't want to get tied up because I had some shit going on in life and I thought I was going to get robbed. Really that's what I'm saying. So, it's some so, shit like that. Like, <laughs> that's why I was scared. Like, at, I, it won't because... Dog, that shit happened, yo. Let me tell you, at that point in life, it was one of the best blowjobs that I had ever had. Nigga, like, that dick suck was amazing. Because I couldn't see shit, so I just, my mind could go wherever the fuck it wanted to go. Yeah, I think the best head I ever had was in Captain G's drive through Before or after you got the food? We was, you know how, you ever sat in Captain D's line? Yeah, that shit did be That blind. shit probably smelled like fish. <laughs> nah, it, we, were, we was waiting. <laughs> it was like three cars up. Yeah, that shit. We was in that shit Public for like. Where's the, wild, fun. where's the wildest place you've had sex? Public sex is definitely always fun. Um... I was in high school, um, outside of 
a car and it's doing traffic. Like, now there's a bunch of stuff, but before it was just, like, highway and then, like, our high school. And it was on the hood of the car. And it was during, like, rush hour, so it was, like, stop traffic. And I was 18, right there on the car, and everybody saw. And I was like, Lord, there's cameras outside I the think school. mine was church, a church playground. Oh, you're going to burn up. I you definitely, burn you know, I definitely. Nah, that, that, I ain't going to burn. That, that shit was holy. I got a hand job in the church parking lot. Um, no, I went in the parking lot. We got out because you know you, it was like late at night. We ain't had nowhere to go. We was in Williamsburg. Like we met up with some chicks from Richmond. So random. Yeah, I mean that's that's just it. Like when you younger, like you have to be creative. Wherever with you can go when you're young. <laughs> yeah. Um, like yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like high school, I knew all the like the the cuts. Like in every neighborhood. So every joint I met somebody. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, I know where we can go. It's a cut over there on the back side. You don't know where it's at? Don't worry about it. Meet me at the food line. I'll show you where to cut at. I had sex while driving on the interstate. I ain't did that yet. I've had head driving. driving. I ain't never, uh, never like, yeah, getting had road, sex driving. Getting road while driving on the interstate. I've typically, never done that. Typically I've been late, in school, though. Typically late at night. You got too much ass. I got head at the control. beach. That was fun. I had sex at a... Uh, you had that blue bikini on? Was it that day? No. This is um, on some night shit. It was like random. It was really like some night shit. And we got naked and got in the ocean. The so night. you just, you beat him for the head. You ain't getting no box. No. Pam like she beat niggas for the head. Also. I know Pam beat niggas I for do. the head. I, I do, but it's not, it's not a purpose thing. That's what they asked to do. I just be sleep after work. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> you no know, purpose. So when they pull out, you just be like, what you doing? Whoa, whoa, fam. You just said this. Yeah, I was about to say that message said, I just want to eat your pussy. Yeah. Whoa. I do. I'd be like, yo, what, what's the deal? I didn't agree with all yeah. dick. See, I don't, I don't agree with going too far, but I, you def- eat pussy I definitely enough. flip your mattress over with you in it before I leave. Wow. Uh, that's how you know you eat a pussy good enough. If you eat the pussy good enough, she's going to oh, yeah, want she, dick afterwards. She's like. going to want that motherfucker. Unless, yeah. when, you, when, you, unless unless you, when you eat the pussy good enough, it's like when you stick the dick in, they be like, "Oh shit, this nigga bought Sometimes dick with him too." Good at like, both. <laughs> Some people are not good at both. Some people do good at one or the other. I thank God. I can say that I I'm mean, good at both. I don't know. I can't relate. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can't relate. You know, everybody likes to toot their own horn. I typically don't toot my own horn. Say my. Resume. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I about to go. To I'm not about to go crazy. I'm gonna just say I can't relate. Yeah. I can't relate either. I just want people be out here. Yo, people act like finding good sex is hard. It's not hard. Is it to me? It's like about having a better connection with the person. I don't have random sex. Women really talk like they get a lot of trash dick in their life. We do. That's sad. I have. I've had some some trash shit. That's sad. And you have you consistently fucked that. Trash. Absolutely not. not. I told him it was trash and I never hit it again. Like, nigga, you but should, I didn't say it was trash. I just said, like, yo. You should be able to at least make her come twice. Because if you're going to eat the pussy, you should at least be able to make her come before you slide yeah. in. And if you eat the pussy and she's coming, if you slide in as she's coming, that second nut is not that hard to follow up with. Nah. Like, but and no, that's, I, just, I might that's, just a regular, is, that's just a regular cheat tactic, nigga. That didn't even nothing and special. And the thing is, when she say right there, like. Keep doing it, the keep, shit that you're doing. Keep the same rhythm. Keep the same. She said right there, nigga. Like, don't, but you know what? Don't speed it up and nah, start gunning. It ain't even that. You gonna fuck it up? Man, well, I'm fat, so my stamina start to fuck up. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you'd be like right there, and I'd be like, look, bitch, I can only hold the same stroke for like another forty five seconds. You better get this nut real quick for that shit go. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I mean, this chubby shit ain't ain't always the best. Yes, it is. No, I mean, I my ain't st- never had no chubby shit that was trash. I, <laughs> Not once. You just you just unfollowed the conversation, obviously. I mean, shout I out, y'all. shout out to fat niggas. Appreciate that. Nah, but I ain't never I ain't never uh, hit a joint that I couldn't hit again. I have, and it just it was bad because then you you like that person and you get to know them first and you just like yeah, and then you hit it and you like bro, it, it wasn't good, and then you just like. Do you tell him it wasn't good? Yes, I do. I'm not gonna gas you up. So after you tell him it wasn't good, what do you do? Like you just. Like, I'm not feeling it. Like, I don't even want to go there with you no more. My shit ain't even about to get wet no more, my nigga. All That's that. crazy. You got to get a nigga around, too. No, sir. Not if you... if at- <laughs> No. Okay, so, yeah, I, I agree with that. You got to you gotta get niggas at least two chances. The reason being, as a nigga, sometimes that first one, you be excited to get in there. Yeah. That That's like you if a nigga bust fast in. the first time like, y'all fuck, he bust fast. Like... That's kind of like a compliment. I 
Not happen. everybody. Some people. Some people look at a nigga like he a minute man. Like it is. No, know but what I'm to me, if you if you're gassing yourself up like, oh, it's trash. Like the dude in particular that I'm talking about, like. He was like, my ex girl used to lock me in the house and take my keys and not even let me go nowhere unless I gave her the dick. And I'm like, oh, this nigga about to change my life. Let me tell you, no nah, niggas be. And nigga, I and then I was a just nigga, like, what a nigga will life? have all intention of doing the shit he said he did, but what he's gonna do, he just. But I'm just probably don't anticipate that pussy being as far as it is. What did she lock him in the house for? Because I was like, bro, this is not it. This ain't it at all. And then he was a little too old to not know what he was doing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know how to fuck by now, you ain't got it. So the second time, you ain't going to get it either. That's not true. I'm going to tell you, my girl now, the first time we had sex, it was after it was the morning after a long night of drinking and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did not do a good job. I gave her some trash dick. And I told her after this shit happened, I was like, look, I know this shit was bad, but this ain't my, my normal <laughs> work. Cause I know my normal work. Mm-hmm. It was like, how let me give me another shot. I'm, I'm a reprieve myself, rough man myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Get back in there, show you what I really do, and it worked. And now she's the mother of my child. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> so you, get, that's what I say. You got to get niggas a second chance, depending on the circumstance. Like. Yeah, but this dude is like older than me, so like not a little bit older. <laughs> like ain't no, you know what I mean? Like when you get past certain age, like my nigga, what are you doing? No, I'm good. I'm going to pass. But you also got to know when you give... Like I said, I also knew at that point in time, like, nigga, I gave a horrible performance. This, this ain't my normal work. So, nah, I, yeah. wanted to, I wanted all the smoke, so I, I feel like, <laughs> you know, I did what I had to do. So give a nigga a second chance, man. That, that's my thing with that. <laughs> Sometimes you be excited to get in the pussy, you shoot off early. like. Yeah, when we were talking about... I've never done... Impression. No, I really haven't. That, that ain't the first impression yeah. we was talking Between about. Between that right. and then... um. It was when I first started reading up about, like, Tantra. And then he was like, oh, you... And this is, like, during sex. Like, yo, you was talking about that Tantra shit? Yo, do some of that shit on me. And I was like, nigga, that's not how that works. Yeah. It doesn't work like that at all. Like, no. He's got under, false understandings of... Like, I was like, that's that's not it at all, bro. Like, you, you're... Nah. Nah. That's not it. Like, niggas don't even really understand, like, that BDSM is a lifestyle. It like, is. That shit is. Some people yeah, nah, that shit. shit is. Yo, and even still, yeah. like, even with, like, uh... Like the Kama Sutra shit, it's the same. Like they just do that on no. You gotta participate too. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> like, do can't that just on do me, this like, on you because nah. you gotta. You part of this. Like you gotta participate. Fuck. But some of the Kama Sutra positions, I can't do them too fat. You only gotta do them for five minutes in that book. I can't contort that way. I'm too fat. I some can't. Some of them you don't even you know have to do. You can't. You gotta get a, a skinny woman to do this shit with. As a fat nigga, I've been in all them positions. No, nah, I mean no. It's some of them that requires the nigga to be like on some like on some other shit. Hey man, you better try this shit out, B. I'm so you better try it. Um, I mean, I I tried, nigga. That's how I know I'm too fat to do it. That good sex is when you just roll into eight different positions and you never have to pull yeah, out. No, every fat nigga ain't flexible like flubber, my nigga. We can't just hey man. prep right. do the pretzel with a girl with the dick. Know what I mean? That yeah, that just ain't my dick long enough, so. No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm learning so many things about you guys. Today. You gotta say the big man shit every once in a while. I mean, I'm good. I mean, that's Uh-oh. that's not an issue. I mean, that's that's another thing. Hit when that you, red button. I ain't saying nothing because she gonna hit that red button. Out she is. <laughs> Do not tell her you here with me right now. That rain. Is that rain? Oh, I thought that was Pam getting excited. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Pam getting excited. But yeah, um, shit. It's about that time. Unless y'all got some top, unless y'all bought some topics. That's all. That's that's my docket for the day. What else happened this week? Man? Anything else good happened this week? But y'all didn't say anything about the the Thaciana, the remix. We oh shit! Oh, um, Nikki that's, or that's Cardi. crazy. That's crazy. Cause oh. I had that in the docket, and I definitely didn't bring it up. I definitely did not bring it up. I don't know. All I know is I saw a video clip from when Cardi was shooting a video, and I know I saw a pussy lip slip yeah, out. Yeah, I saw that. I on seen your that. Facebook. And I appreciated that. I don't a think lot. so. I think I, I, think I, like I think I almost. Bottom ass. That was bottom ass. I wasn't ass. quite sure. It was, uh, it was like bottom sure. ass. Like, yeah. the, you know that. I think I almost dropped my phone. I think that's what happened. I have never like you see it. The sad part is I haven't listened to either one of their verses. Nikki's no, I didn't crazy. either. Crazy. No, you know, it's, it's different, but Nikki's was 
To me, I, I like Nikki's better. They said Nikki just was making up words, though. Shit is dope, though. Like, she I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear it, so. She used the word apiano. I, once I saw that shit, I was like, No, you know what? I think I did. Nikki's shit was, it wasn't part of the song. It was a freestyle. Yeah. Like, okay, I did hear it. I heard it. I'm sorry. I heard it on Twitter. I like, I like Nikki's better. Yeah, one of my um one of my favorite Twitter thoughts had posted it. Twitter thoughts? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a real thing, man. You gotta be careful when you open your your Instagram up and shit like that. Yeah. Like you open Instagram up, you just be ass cheeks clapping on it. Oh, I don't follow any of those. Yeah. Follow a lot of those. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a man thing. I guess I follow look, quite a few of those. And I feel like they hard. They're not even soft. That's what you gotta follow the right ones. I don't like fake yeah. asses. I'm definitely mad I ain't get to go to Arnold's this weekend because I ain't been to a strip club. Yeah, long. I mean, I don't, I don't, I definitely ain't with the fake asses, especially when I know there's real asses that that's like Pam's. Oh, thank you. I take credit. I grew this. <laughs> it's homegrown. Nigga exactly. said it like. Actually, like it, I get it from my mama. Actually. Like it was a fucking tomato or something. I grew this. I did. I'm I'm proud of that. I grew it, but I get it from my mama. I think that. This shit must run a Pam whole family. I don't know. Everybody, everybody got something. But mine's definitely for my mama. Some shit beeping at me, man. That like shit, shit died. That's why. Oh. Oh, well. Fizz listening. <laughs> nah, the camera died. But it is what it is. We still rocking. But yeah, um. So any uh, positive words of the week? Kyle? Oh, man. You would come to me first. Um, fuck President's Day. I agree, especially since we don't have one. Trump getting his wall built. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's trying to take it from um, El Chapo. Did y'all see that? They don't know where that nigga money at. That was. A I lie. know they're not, but he wants that guy. Whatever his name. They definitely found El Chapo guilty on all charges. That shit is. Yeah, it's only ten that. charges though. Only ten. Only. It's only ten. Did you see what the ten charges were? Let's talk about do life. <laughs> First of all, all the the people wearing masks, even the jurors. Did you know they had masks? They were covered. They should. Up to been. here, you couldn't even see the jurors. Or my nigga, I'm not going to El Chapo's shit as a juror and not wear a fucking mask either. And I'm using the alias. I'm not using my name. I don't think they're gonna make it anyway. There's not. A, there is no amount of money you could have paid me to volunteer for that case. <laughs> Hell no. You don't think he gonna get out? Sure, no, he's getting it. locked up in an American jail. He ain't getting out of that. I mean, he wouldn't be the first person to escape. Yeah, but jail. say people escape. Nah, I mean, it time. depends on where they put him at. It depends on what jail they put him in, too. You know how long that nigga money is? It don't, it don't matter what jail they put him in. If I, work, dig if I worked at the jail, he'd be like, yeah, I'll give you $5 million to get me out. Bitch, you can jump in the backseat of my car. And... <laughs> I'm about to haul my family. We yeah, coming right with you. Yeah, we'll find a way. We, we all getting on the plane together, bitch. <laughs> so for real, for real, I just have somebody run an escalade through the through the gate. Cause I mean, all that's holding the gate up is just some fucking barbed wire. You run an escalade through that. Anyway, I ain't about to. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but they come fuck around. Positive words for the people, man. Live your life, travel and see the world, man. You gotta do that shit. Some more than your hometown where you from. Get the fuck out experience shit. That's what I like to do. So follow me on social media. The AO80 proof. A Y O the number eighty, the word proof. I say a lot of ignorant shit. It happens. It's life. What do I have? Don't have sex unless you can have raw sex. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a <laughs> That's like a proverb, nigga. That ain't even a I wonder how many people bought Plan B's after the Valentine's Day. They don't work. Oh, you living proof? I'm living proof. (laughs) Plan B's are effective up to 72 hours, according to the package. They're up to 72 hours, but they have a weight Uh limit. If you're above a certain weight, it may or may not work. So you should have took two. (laughs) (laughs) Should have took one Saturday, one Sunday. Hey, it was a setup. Oh, well, apparently. It was definitely that nigga setup. definitely shot that shit all the way to fuck up. Yeah. He ain't have no issue, no motherfucking intentions of pulling up. Why would you? Fuck pulling out. Shut up. I feel right. like pulling out is going against God's plan for your life. I ain't gonna say that. Don't pull it. <laughs> Make sure somebody's on birth control. 
if she Birth control is bad for you though. Birth control is horrible. It's and bad as, for you. As a man, I know this. And I, they I'm have sure. men birth control though, but I don't hear men trying to get. They birth don't sell this shit like that though. They don't sell it. It's a it's a shot so, that you yeah. get in your arm, but it takes four months for it to. I take the depot shot. And like my, it's in your shoulder. <laughs> I, it's like up here. I well, take. I just had a kid. I'm going to get snipped by the end of this year, B. For second, you only want me. one. That's, that's it. it. I didn't want one. Nah, you'll just get the depot when shot. I got him. I'll pay, the depot. Nah, pay your dues, my nigga. Be, nah, I'm get the get depot snip. shot. The snip is reversible for up to like the, three years. The worst that's gonna happen if you get the depot shot is you just gonna be shaped like a linebacker. I'm already shaped like a linebacker. You're shaped like a lineman. Why don't you get the shot in your arm? <laughs> you shaped like a lineman, but then you'll be shaped like a linebacker. Because I feel like I don't know what that shit is doing to my body. Oh. I just said that I know that birth control is fucked up. Yeah, nah. I, I Am I still going to ask you to be a birth control? Yes. I'm not yeah, it's, it's either that or get your tubes tied. It's, it's like your get, choice. Get your yeah, it's your choice, but I, I'm, you know. I'm willing to go get snipped, so are you willing to go get your tubes tied? Like, yeah, I would get my tubes tied. Like, but they can also come undone. That's what I'm saying. Oh, well, that, yeah. If that yeah. happens, it's just it's meant to happen. Be At that point, you just got to suck it up. Yeah. Or you can go. Never mind. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I I, like I guess it's just point. white clouds aren't as comfortable as pink clouds when the skies are gray. Peace. I don't believe you.